When I came to this company, I wanted to work on snowmobiles. But Chuck Baxter, who was the VP of engineering and one of the seven owners of the company, knew ATVs was kind of the future. I wasn't totally on board with solid axle ATVs, and he told me he wanted me to show him what was in my mind. So I used hockey sticks and duct tape, and we like mocked this thing up, fully intending for him to say, like, we're not looking for a Formula One car, we're looking for a new ATV. It was beautiful. When we built the first Sportsman 500, it became clear very quickly that the vehicle was significantly better than any vehicle before it. We've made many changes on the Sportsman over the years. Why? Because customers have told us what they want and we listen. We designed the new Sportsman with the rider's needs in mind. So you'll see now the vehicle is stronger, smoother, and more versatile. All these things combined really make the best Sportsman that we've built today. I think it's one of the few vehicles that you can feel at one with the machine. People here are passionate about the product and like what they do. It's not just coming for a job every day. That passion, it, it moves into the product. Every person that puts their hand on the Sportsman really it puts their heart and soul into it. You can feel the spirit, that can-do attitude, the belief that everyone in this town and everyone that works for this company has. You can feel it when you take the vehicle out and ride it. The modern ATV really was born out of what Sportsman was, and it was the standard then, and it's the new standard now. Polaris is about the ride. You gotta ride it to believe it.